Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be prepping a couple of work lunches, also doing a little dinner and snack prep as well. So let's get into the video. So first off, I'm gonna make some chicken salad that I'll be having for one of my lunches this week. So I need to prep the veggies that I'm gonna be putting in the salad. So I'm gonna chop up some celery. I love a lot of celery in my chicken salad, so I will be doing a quite a bit of celery. Also gonna chop up a little bit of red onion and also some green onions to add to the salad. So to make the salad itself, I'm gonna be adding the veggies to some chicken. And then I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of light mayo and then also some horseradish mustard. And then the seasonings I use for this is gonna be some dill weed, onion salt, some garlic powder, and then some red pepper flakes. You can put whatever seasonings you want. These are just my favorite ones I like in chicken salad. So I will be eating this either on lettuce leaves or just on its own. I also plan on putting like a pickle on the side as well as a hard boiled egg. And the salad makes four servings for one smart point per serving. For my second lunch this week, I'm gonna make sheet pan chicken fajitas. I've shown this to you guys before. Um, I'm gonna chop up first the red bell pepper and orange bell pepper that I will be having in the chicken. And also I am cutting up a whole medium onion into thin strips. I really like a lot of onion in this because it does cook down quite a bit. So it may look like a lot of onion, but it does cook down. So it's not quite as much as it looks. So in this bowl, I have some chicken that I also cut up into small strips. I'm gonna be adding in some of my homemade taco seasoning. I will have a link for that video down below showing how I make that taco seasoning. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the veggies that I already chopped up earlier, as well as two tablespoons of avocado oil. And then I wanna add on a little bit more taco seasoning to the veggies on top, and I'm gonna give that a good toss and then spread it out onto a sheet pan. I have my oven set to 400 degrees, and I'm gonna cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes just until my chicken is cooked through. It could take longer or less depending on how small your chicken is cut up. Um, I also ended up adding a little bit of cilantro on top of this before putting it in the oven. So I will have these with some low carb tortillas or on lettuce leaves. Uh, the fajitas themselves are one smart point per serving. For a couple of dinners this week, I'm gonna be having some grilled chicken. So I wanna go ahead and get those into some Ziploc bags and get them marinating. So the first one is curry. I'm in a gallon size bag. I am adding in three chicken breasts. To that, I'm adding in one tablespoon of avocado oil, two teaspoons of curry, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, the juice of a half of a lime, and a half of a cup of light coconut milk. So you wanna mix that together really well. And then my second marinade, to three chicken breasts, I am adding in a quarter cup of avocado oil and a quarter cup of water. And then the packet of this mesquite marinade. I sliced up a whole lime and put that in the bag and also some chopped up cilantro. So when you're mixing this together, you wanna to really squeeze those lime slices to make sure um, it releases all their juice. So now I'm gonna be storing both of these in the freezer until the day before I have them for dinner. And both of these come in at one smart point per serving. Another dinner I will be having this week is going to be turkey burgers. So in this bowl, I have a pound of ground turkey. To that, I'm adding in a half of a cup of plain breadcrumbs, one egg, some red onions and green onions, and some of my homemade Italian dressing seasoning. Again, I will have that video linked down below, and I'm also adding in some ch chives. So I'm giving that a good mix. I'm gonna form a four turkey patties. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the freezer just like this so I can flash freeze them. And then I will store those in a Ziploc bag until the night I need them for dinner. Because I used 93.7 ground turkey, each turkey burger is five smart points. If you use the 99% fat-free turkey, then it would only be zero smart points. To have as a side dish this week for my dinners, I'm gonna go ahead and air fry some delicata squash. 
So to this bowl of sliced up squash, I'm adding in some onion salt. And then I've picked up this new seasoning from Bragg's. So I'll go ahead and you can pause this here so you can see what's in it. It has an amazing smell. It is really good. Um, I also am going to add in some red pepper flakes. And I will cook this in my air fryer at 380 degrees for about 8 minutes. For one of my snacks this week, I'm going to have some veggies and ranch. I'm putting together some snack bags with some celery and some carrots. To go with that, I'm making a batch of the Skinny Kitchen Ranch. To this bowl, I'm going to add in 1 and 3 quarters cup of 1% buttermilk. Actually, I think it's 1.5% buttermilk. A half of a cup of light mayo and two packets of this buttermilk ranch dressing mix. This ranch is only one smart point for two tablespoons and it tastes absolutely amazing. So you guys should definitely try it out. And I have these little condiment containers I got at, on Amazon. I will have those linked down below. So I'm gonna add some of the ranch dressing to these and it's a perfect fit for two tablespoons. I also cooked up some hard boiled eggs in the pressure cooker for snacks. I use the 555 method five minutes on the steam setting, five minutes of natural re release, and five minutes in an ice bath. And I love how easy these babies are to peel. I'm just gonna store those in a plastic container in my refrigerator and have them for snacks all week. Now I'm mixing up a batch of my favorite balsamic vinaigrette dressing for salads. Uh, to this bowl, I'm adding in a half of a cup of extra virgin olive oil and a half of a cup of balsamic vinegar and two tablespoons of my homemade Italian seasoning mix. So this dressing is two smart points for two tablespoons. And lastly, I need to slice up some lemons for my water to have through the week. Please be sure you check out the description box for links to recipes. I also have a meal prep playlist I will link here on the screen and down below. And please subscribe if you have not already done so and hit that notification bell to be notified of new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.